This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Domain.com. So I heard that you were building a new NAS. Yes, yes. I, I actually sent a tweet out uh, uh, this weekend and see if I can get it actually to come up. Of course not. There's like giant threads and sub-threads at this point where I, I was like, okay, I've got four three terabyte drives. Mm -hmm. I've got an older low power enclosure. What do you guys think? Unraid or free NAS. So, so these if, are just like two and a half inch drives you had laying around? No, or? these are my three, these are a bunch of three terabyte, uh, oh. three and a half inch desktop oh, drives. Oh, cool, they're, okay. they're not red, so yeah. they're not the super cool new ones, but I have them, right? And, and I've been using them uh, built into a Windows box I've been using as a server. So free NAS, if you haven't heard it, essentially uh, is a standalone network appliance software. I want to say it's based on FreeBSD, and of course I'm going to, I should look before I say that, because some days I say things and I'm totally wrong and people get very angry. Um, <laughs> Yeah, FreeBSD 8.x, go. good, I, I'll feel better now. Um, and it includes uh, ZFS integration. So ZFS is this incredible uh, uh, file system and volume manager. It was originally designed by Sun and basically is all about the parity, the data, and protecting it. And this led to a bunch of really, really interesting things I didn't know about. First of all, ZFS Guru. Uh, ZFS Guru uh, is basically an OS designed for data storage. And along with ZFS Guru, a lot of people told me to check out NAS for free, which is kind of a fork from free NAS, NAS for free, free NAS. Uh, and this is sort of an embedded uh, version of uh, FreeBSD. Um, and it's a continuation of the FreeNAS 7 series. FreeNAS 7 had a bunch of media serving stuff that has not yet been built onto FreeNAS 8. Um, so Unraid, if you haven't heard about it, is a more proprietary version, or it's, a, it's basically another uh, network detached storage server, basically a way of running a bunch of hard drives. And LimeTech, the company uh, that runs it, uh, they have some really cool server boxes that they sell. So if you want like, oh, let's see, how about 12, SATA hard drive trays in your network attached storage box. They will sell you that box. Now, one of the things uh, uh, at Bobby the Geek emailed, or I should say tweeted, uh, the unregistered Unraid server supports up to three hard drives. So you're gonna have to either use the crazy DIY uh, open source version of it or purchased a full license to get more than three hard drives. So already I'm in trouble with Unraid. I'm gonna need to pay for it. Um, it was interesting, uh, uh, blurred bits, tweeted, for strict NAS functions, free NAS worked good for me, but I eventually moved over to Ubuntu to get a full featured server. Now, as free NAS 8 evolves, it should have a bunch of the features that uh, free NAS 7 had. And it was interesting, uh, at Roy Factorial, um, wrote in, make sure to use ECC RAM with your NAS. ZFS protects data on disk, but not in memory, and ZFS uses a lot of memory for caching. That was the first time I'd heard that. And one lone voice cried out, just use Open Media Vault. It does everything you need. So. I'm leaning towards building a free NAS build, but I'm gonna go through, literally I think I got over like 60 tweets around this. <laughs> And people, people care very strongly about this kind of thing. It was really awesome. So I want to thank everybody who tweeted back at me with your ideas. And I am going to synthesize this. And I think it's going to be an over the Christmas holiday project where I will build this machine up when we come back from, from CES. Mm -hmm. Or perhaps just before CES. Yeah, <laughs> that, that is definitely a good weekend project. Yeah, well. I saw a product, this made me think of, of something that I saw at the Gadget Live event uh, last week, but the, some of the people from Drobo mm -hmm. are working on a new project. Um, we have that coming in for eval. So, well, yeah, so, so do I. Oh. So I have it too coming in, so we can test it between us. That'll be scary. It's called the transporter. You'll have my data? Yeah, I will have your data. <laughs> it kind of reminds me a little bit of a pogo plug, for example, except it uses all peer-to-peer. -peer they to, got uh, really upset when I was like, this looks like a pogo plug. What makes it I better? I said the same thing to them. That's exactly <laughs> what I said to them. And they were not upset, but they, there's definitely some similarities. But there's a lot of big differences, too. Um, but it's, it's really cool because you can use mm -hmm. your own drives as well within the transporter. Um, so it's a way to kind of get your files from home or to share files with other people and it's it's fast yeah but it doesn't connect to your computer it just well, you, connects to the ethernet yes well yes. you have a you have a folder on your computer that you mm -hmm. can access that's cached when you're offline or when the transporter is offline a private diy dropbox based around their hardware yes i think that's a good summary that is a better summary okay. yeah and it's all encrypted and safe and so, okay it took me three days of having it percolate in the back of my head. <laughs> yeah, but it's cool. So we'll get one in and, yeah. and show that off because it's, it's a pretty neat little device. Well, you need two, really. You need two of them. That's true. That's <laughs> absolutely really true. That's kind of the point. All right, we've got more of your email still to come. But first, it is time to thank one of our sponsors. Need a new domain name? Consider registering a new .com. A .com domain name is the best. It's immediately understood, and it gives credibility to your website no matter what name you choose. 
And the best place to get a new .com domain is at Domain.com. We on the show here like Domain.com because they're affordable, reliable, and easy to use. Plus, Domain.com's active social media presence on Twitter, at Domain.com, and great customer support make it a fun place to do business. Hey, we have an awesome coupon code with a big 20% discount off of Domain.com's already low prices. Just use the coupon code TECHZILLA when you check out at Domain.com. And that's 20% off, folks. Big time savings. Please don't forget, give the TechZilla coupon code some love. When you think domain names, think domain.com. And that's a .com.